Hello guys In this video I will try just uh, to give you a comparison between if you buy gold and if you buy a company share what's the difference? Now if you buy gold for example you buy one troy ounce of gold which is nearly 31 grams a little, little bit more do you think that this 31 grams or what you what you call a troy ounce is that this troy ounce could be bigger and bigger and bigger or it is the same amount of gold you tell me no it's the amount of gold that you bought is 31 grams and some some stuff but it stays even you say 100 years it will be 31 grams and uh, some stuff it's not that big deal now a share of a company I will give you an example Facebook for example the first year the share let's say it was the, the average let's say it was $25 the average now it is 140 you see how the company is big is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and the share is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger because the company itself becomes bigger and bigger now for gold 31 grams will never become bigger yes they give a price that fluctuates up and up and down but the problem is that 31 grams if it stays 100 years it will be 31 grams that's why Warren Buffett who is the richest man like an investor he doesn't invest in gold and in, in silver because he tells himself that it doesn't grow it is just the market uh, in the market industry they give a price and this price doesn't go that much for example uh, as I told you a share can grow when the company grows and a share it can be divided into seven or ten and these small shares becomes a bigger shares for example if you have a share of uh, this is what happened for example for let's say uh, what happened to Google the share was eleven hundred dollars they there is a split one to two and it becomes from eleven hundred it becomes uh, let's say uh, 600 and 600 two shares for one shares you will have two shares okay let's say from six six hundred dollars it goes to eight hundred dollars or nine hundred dollars or one thousand so here your shares are becoming bigger and bigger because the company Google company is becoming bigger and bigger like Facebook is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger okay this is in terms of growth the company grows bigger and bigger and from a small company it becomes a large company so the, sh the share is growing but in terms of gold and silver and the other commodities it doesn't grow you have 31 grams which is a, a troy ounce of gold after 10 years 20 years you have the the same amount of gold it, they don't give you more gold because because you stay more okay so this is the only basic difference if you want to invest try not to be trapped in this kind of gold and silver because sometimes when you have a gold and silver you want to sell you don't find that good buyer and they will buy by cheap and they force you to buy by cheap if you need the money okay and there are a lot of a lot of stuff related to uh, saving gold and a lot of expenses a lot of fees uh, the people who are selling this gold and silver and the other they, they will never tell you this until you get trapped and you have a lot of money and then you if you want to exit uh, you, you can but 
What I suggest is don't buy physical thing like gold and silver and the other stuff. Go in, in stock market, buy gold companies, shares. If the company becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, you will have the good thing that this share will grow. Although it is about good, uh, gold or silver or whatever, it doesn't matter. The, the thing that it matters is that your share grows in order to make money. Okay? But don't buy physical gold or physical silver and you get trapped in that. And when you want to sell, you will never sell. Here, I'm not speaking about coins and uh, about the value of coins and uh, those people who are uh, selling coins because of their value, not because of their gold or silver that are in. It's just because of their value in the market of coins. And this is another subject. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking just about people who just buy silver because it is silver, because it is a precious metal, as they say, and gold. And I always argue with these people when they find them online. Sometimes I go to challenge them and to, to, to do some stuff just for the, the sake of um, showing them that sometimes they are wrong and they should not be so wrong. And the, the, the reason they told me, they told me, for example, oh, uh, gold, it is, it is a scarce. Okay? Gold, it is a scarce. I say it's it's okay, it's a scarce, but why 31 grams is 1,200? Why it is not 10,000, 15,000, 100,000? Because it is scarce. In the whole world, it's a scarce. Why it is not so expensive? Even silver, $14 for an ounce, it, and they say it's precious. It is not precious at all it is just what the market has given them as price there are a lot of a lot of things uh, that are more expensive than gold and their silver and the other the other commodities or precious metals and they are not gold and they are not silver okay if you go online and you find the expensive things uh, you, you, you will never imagine that these things are more expensive than this gold and silver. And uh, they say buy in, other, in the future to make money, but sometimes you buy and the price of silver and, uh, and gold, they go down. For example, in 2011, in April, this is the peak of um, silver. It was $48 for an ounce, troy ounce. Now it is $14 or $15. You see? If you hold the stock, if you hold this, this silver from 2004, uh, 2011 to now, 2017, which is six years, you lost a lot of, almost all your money you lost from 48 to uh, $14 and $15, you lost almost all your money. 60%, 65%, you lost it. And it, it might, it never go up again. Maybe it goes down again. As before, it was $4 or $3, maybe it goes there. So it will become so cheap. Why do you say it is precious? It's not precious. It's the market who, or the market which, gives you the price of these things. Something is precious, but the market makes, makes it cheap. The gold was 1880 in 2011 in April. Now it is 1200 something. Okay, it lost a lot. Those people who are, who are extracting gold, they lose a lot of money because they, they make a lot of work and they don't get that much money for the precious metal. Okay? But if you buy, for example, a stock in gold, any, any company in gold, or silver, or any other precious metals, the, for example, the stock is $10. It goes to 20 after one year or two. How much you make? You double your money. Now, if you buy gold, 1200 okay? Last year, for example, and to, to this year is 1200 or 1300 How much you make? 
nothing. Okay? And the other guy, he buy he buys a company that, that extracts gold, he can make more money than the gold itself. So in the stock market, you will be making more money than the actual precious metal price in physical gold or physical uh, physical uh, silver. So try to understand these things that are related to preci uh, precious metals and to, uh, to company shares. Company shares grow and it grows so fast and they can make you a lot of money compared to the physical gold and silver. Okay? So thank you very much for this uh, video. If you have questions, please comment here, subscribe, send me a private message. Here is the uh, um, uh, email on the top of the description. Just you find it here and then just send me a private message. Thank you very much and have a nice day.